What do you do if your husband doesn't want to be the head of your household? Uh, recently, a uh, person asked me that in our church's question and answer Sunday. Uh, and it just it makes me sad just thinking of the situation. Because it's, it's super common, and I'm not sure if you've been there before. So often, uh, Christian women in the church, they read what the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5, that the husband is the head of the family, just like Jesus. He's given this amazing calling to love like Jesus, to lead like Jesus, to be selfless but strong, tough, and tender, just like Jesus. And I know so many Christian women who would love that. I mean, they would love to just have a man who is like Jesus. Um, now, obviously, every, every man, every husband is going to fall way short of that. But there are some who don't even want to. And I think that's where this question comes from. What, what are you supposed to do as a Christian wife if your husband doesn't want to be the head of the household? Well, my biblical answer to that is going to depend on whether he is a Christian who is neglecting his duty or if he is a non-Christian who just has no concept of that duty. Well, let me try to answer both really quickly. If your husband claims to be a Christian, but he just like doesn't want to be the head of the household, I would, I would start just having a, a humble, heart-to-heart -heart conversation with an open Bible. I would open up to, um, let's say, Ephesians chapter 5, read verses 22 through 33, which lays out wives and husbands, how we work together in this relationship called marriage. Um, like, put the, the word right in front of him to see uh, if it's not just you, you know, <laughs> trying to change him, but it's, it's God calling him to what God wants him to be. And if he's a true follower of Jesus, he, he's going to respect the words of Jesus. He's going to respect the word of God. It might take him a little bit. He might be defensive. He might be scared. <laughs> to be like Jesus in a marriage is a, a pretty intimidating calling, to be honest. But maybe that's that's where you can start. Like, don't don't push it. You know, there's these amazing husbands you see on social media. They're doing all these things and reading the Bible to the kids. Like, don't don't arm twist him or, or shame him. Like, help him. Remember in the beginning, the, the first wife Eve was a helper um, to her husband Adam. Like, this might be a great calling for you. You're going to help your husband to see his calling, to step up to it, to embrace it. You're going to encourage him with your words. All right? So that might be a, a great place to go. But let's think of a worst case scenario. What, what if he still doesn't want to? What if he doesn't want to talk with you? What if he gets so defensive, he just like shuts the Bible before he, he thinks about it or reads it or considers it? Now, if he's still calling himself a Christian, that's a time, I think, when you bring in another Christian man. Like, is there a guy who passionately follows God that he knows and respects? You normally wouldn't bring a third party into your marriage, but you're at this deadlock. You're right, because your husband is neglecting the word, and we're going to need to bring in someone else. A trusted friend, a, a brother in Christ, uh, maybe a respected leader at your church. Right? Just, we're going to take the conversation up just one level and we're going to we're going to plead with him to say hey like you're sinning <laughs> right jesus did not just like you know slowly <laughs> fade out of the picture right he stepped up to his calling and he, he loves you he's going to help you he forgives you for what happened but this is your calling will will you embrace it all right so it, it, it's going to be a little bit tense but i hope and pray that this is worth it now, the fact is that we live today in uh, a culture that does not call men to do hard things. And this is no doubt a hard thing. I, I think of my own family, like to have the responsibility of leading them spiritually. I've, I'm blessed with a lot of training in the Bible, but that's still, it's hard. <laughs> like juggling all of that, helping my family get closer to God's it's very difficult. Our culture isn't helping husbands to do that. And so I'm praying that whether it's through you or a brother in the faith or a pastor from your church, that you can help your husband become the man that Jesus wants him to be. That he can become a Christian husband who is the head of the household, not just on paper, but in practice, as he leads, as he sacrifices, and as he loves. 
I hope that helps. I hope your husband changes. I hope your family becomes everything that God always wanted it to be. Did you enjoy this video? Oh, we would love to share with you so much more. Just click here.